I want to give you the answer. And so I will give you the answer, but first I want to give you some possible answers that previous students have come up with and we'll evaluate them. So one answer when I pose this, I married my sister, I married my best friend, I'm not married. One student immediately shot it out, you're a hillbilly. <laughs> That's how we make sense of I married my sister, your sister's your best friend, you don't care about incest taboos, that's how you did it. And then I said, so then, how am I not married? He said, easy, divorced. That's a pretty good response. Not true. I'm not a hillbilly. I do like the book Hillbilly Elegy, which I highly recommend to all of you. But at least as a first shot, not bad, a little ungenerous to hillbilly, so we don't really like that. But here is a second answer, which is a little bit more thoughtful and I think a little bit more genuine. And they said, look, I want to focus on that word sister. Words have different meanings. They don't just have one meaning. If I say I married my sister, you were talking about a sorority. You were in a sorority once. <laughs> Mr. Bolovsky, what's clever about that answer? It's very novel. It is. It takes that statement, how we might all interpret sister as sibling, and say, look, we can define sister in all kinds of ways. Maybe that helps us out. So you're just trying these out. That is not the answer. The real trick is not to focus on the person. It's to focus on the verb. How many definitions of married can we come up with? So if we focus on, I married my sister, it doesn't have to be that I'm married to her. It could be, someone said, well, maybe you're a priest. Then you could marry your sister. Then you could marry your best friend. And in terms of being not married, you're a priest. That's fine. That's not the answer. I'm not a priest. Another person said, well, priest, that doesn't those aren't the only folks, right? We said widening a range of options. There's other folks who can marry people. You're a judge. You went to law school. Maybe you skipped a lot of steps and went straight to judge. That's a really good answer. Not the answer. The answer is, I did marry my sister in California where you can marry people if you become something like deputy of civil marriages for a day. So on one day, I was allowed to marry people, and I decided to marry my sister. And then we have this question of, I married my best friend. So that's me in the middle. That's my sister. That takes care of it. And one response is what, Mr. Bolesky? How might you think so how do you also marry your best friend? That's your best friend. That guy, right? That should be my best friend. That's not my best friend. That's Phil. <laughs> Phil's not my best friend. I like Phil. I like Phil a lot. So now the question is, how the heck is this true? And now we need to shift from just, I married my sister thinking that was one event, to thinking, maybe you married your best friend a different day. That's my best friend, Dr. Rumsey Aboot. He's an oncologist at WashU School of Medicine. And I married him to his wife about a year later. So you have these materials and you're thinking, let's not just accept the first response.